hi everyone welcome to dn blogs live channel so today are you taking your husband's money and are you hiding it do you hide money from your husband all of us line up and let us count ourselves that are hiding money from our husband and even if you're a husband if you're hiding money from your wife today i have gist for you and today we will be talking about why should you hide money from your husband before i do that and before i shed some light on it let me tell you something hmm. i have to move this this video was aptly sponsored by m vision you guys you know them this is m vision i've already shown the alarm clock to before but this here is their natural energy lamp it says to brighten your life and i'm gonna do an unboxing i'm really surprised i'm really like excited to do this unboxing so i'm gonna do a quick unboxing and then we'll shed some light into this story of hiding money from our so husband this is the hem vision natural energy lamp brighten your life apollo 200 and this is what it looks like uh, you can find this i'm gonna put their link in the description area but you can also find it on amazon in our amazon shop so let me unbox it so it comes pre-sealed well it has information about what it does on the back when you unbox this you'll see it comes with its charging cord right over here you can see it's packaged in this bubble wrap foam kind of thing so it protects the glass it protects the lamp so right here you have the manual which is awesome and then let's take the lamp from this container now this is what the lamp looks like and you can see it also has some film right here and this film you can peel it off it kind of protects the lamp's display area so just peel it off and it's really really nice and it's protected manual has key information so just let's look at the manual so in the manual it tells you what is expected in the packaging and also it tells you what the lamp is futures are so right here we can plug in our lamp using this cord right over here at the back of the lamp that is where you find the plug so the plug is right in there at the back so i'm just gonna plug it right there so once we plug it onto the wall it's charging right now but let me tell you a little bit about this lamp itself so this lamp says it's a therapy timing setting it has a therapy timing setting it has uv uh u free led light it helps with smart memory function it also adjusts brightness for time and timer display it helps with um so many things like when you you know sleep um step less dimming and brightness and also it has fifty thousand hours of lamp light so right here you can see it already has the time setting right here so you have a clock and a lamp together i'm going to set the time now and to set the time you want to press the set button so you are pressing down the set once you press on the set it starts flashing the time right now is 105 so i'm going to press the set again and now be careful because when i press the set again it automatically stops it so press the set again and then press the set again and then press the time you want to put so i'm putting i want to put 1 p.m so we're going i'm going to keep on going because now it's at a.m now it's at p.m so now you press set and you've set the time so the time has been thoroughly set now so the time has been thoroughly set now so once the time is set what i can do is that even with the light i'm going i can make the light more or less so let's try doing that so I, to do that i'm gonna have to turn on the light and hopefully the camera can take it so now i'm gonna show you the time you see how it changes the color of the time of the light <laughs> so you can see i can change the color of the light by just dragging my finger i know you guys can see my finger i'm just dragging my finger to change the color of the light okay and then i can also drag my finger to change the brightness of the light press the off button it turns off the light very very easy to use and um 
the purpose of this light also you can use it to study it gives you a nice studying um, light is very effective because you don't have to use a clock and a light everything comes in one you can take this any way you want and you can stand it any way you want because it has this stand that is very good that you can stand anywhere even if you are recording a video you can use this when you record a video and use it for your lighting and stuff so I, I find it very helpful and it's very lightweight really really lightweight so you guys go check it out i'll put links in the description area and hope you guys like this so guys we are talking about hiding money away from your husband let me tell you something some people do this i would not admit if i do it or not <laughs> let's talk about this are you one of the people that hide money from your husband then I was discussing this with my husband and I was saying, hmm, I want to do this topical. And he was like, go ahead and do it now. And I said, yeah. I said, because there are some people that you don't know the dynamics. You cannot just prejudge somebody and say, why do they add money from their husband? And you just judge them like that, jump to conclusion that, ah, it's not your husband. You have to be honest. You have to show your money. You have to do all this stuff. Every relationship has its own dynamics. And that's something that we need to realize every relationship has its own dynamic so if your relationship is such a relationship that your husband is a spender hmm. if your husband is a spender always spending money and you are thinking about your next egg you're thinking about your future you're thinking about retirement and your husband you keep on working 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 and your husband keeps on spending 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 no saving nothing to show for my sister, you might just be putting some on the side, okay? When he gives you money for food, just put some on the side. But I want to advise you that for some people, what they do is that they have joint accounts, okay? Some relationship, they'll have joint account, and then each individual person will have an account for themselves, is and as, you know, separate account, so that the wife has the liberty of doing whatever she wants with her money, and so also the husband has liberty to do whatever he wants to do it with his money now is this something that is done in our culture yes we do that in our culture whereby women are known to stash up some money on the side because they know that their husband might be some kind of peers and i'm not judging you know, some people like spending on the outside they spend more for people outside of the home versus people inside of the home so the husband the wife might be like ah, let me keep some aside though because mm, that's how Kuku take all the money and give it to everybody. You guys know what I'm talking about. Let's not be fancy here. But I have to tell you that everybody's dynamic is, this, is different. If you are someone that you understand your husband, and if you are someone that your husband is not somebody that is not free with money. Okay, when I mean free with money, you know sometimes you, like if you ask your husband, like, oh, I want this, I want that, and your husband is always saying, ah, but why do you need this for this? But why do you need that for that? Then you might want to think, I mean, because there, are, there are some kind of freedom when a woman has a little bit of change on the side. People say it happens a lot in the African culture, in Nigeria, wherever, where the woman is always the one stashing money aside. But let me tell you something. Some of my people in the Western world also do it. So it's something that is universal, that some women will stash money aside. Some women will even have businesses on the side. Okay? So is it okay as a woman to hide money from your husband it all comes to principle it all comes to knowing and thinking about the future it all comes to knowing and understanding your own relationship if your relationship is a relationship that the man and it could even happen both ways it could be that the woman is the one that is spending spending and the man is like ah I better buy something or before this woman takes all my money <laughs> or all the money we work for you have to understand that it is important for you to think about the future and it's important for you to know your your spouse if you don't know your spouse if your spouse is a spender spender hmm, then hmm, mark my word mark it on the wall mark it everywhere your money that you've worked out for will disappear so do i take money and do i stash it aside well that's another story for another day <laughs> because in all honesty in my dynamic in my relationship we're pretty much open book but I have to tell you that you have to understand your relationship. You have to understand the person that you are marrying. And you have to understand that if the person is someone that is spending for other people on the side, I'm not going to say, you need to know how to 
gather up your own stuff now if you're a woman let me say you're a woman and you don't have any career you don't have any job all the money your husband gives you that's all you have it can be hard that's why we say it's always nice for a woman to even have something on the side a little something even if you are working in nine to five still have something on the side because you never know there are some cultures that after the man dies the family of the man comes and takes all everything and then show the woman is left with nothing in those instances what do you do in those instances if the woman has been like um what do they call it you know when you harvest and you keep for the dry season <laughs> like the time of joseph and uh, the israelites and the egyptians or whatever yes sometimes you have to keep for the dry season so everything boils down to the dynamic of the relationship it's not a clear and cut answer you should do this you should not do this it all boils down to the dynamic now if you guys have things to discuss please comment in the description area in the comment area i want to hear what you think i really want to hear i want to learn from you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for enduring and thank you so much for envision for sponsoring this video i really appreciate it and we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye